With the appearance of new electricity demands, such as electric heating, transport and data storage, the European Union faces a rising need for electrification, backed up by increasingly ambitious targets. We are committed to ensuring that our power system has the capacity to welcome large and increasingly necessary quantities of renewables in the future. We will lead the way towards carbon zero, becoming the first climate neutral continent by 2050, simultaneously keeping the cost as low as possible. The EU has tasked ENSO-E with facilitating this energy transition throughout the continent. This is why, together with a wide range of European experts, we at ENSO-E have gathered and analysed all the available data to identify the needs of our current and future electric system. We discovered that non-wire system efficiency measures are necessary but not enough on their own. Basically, our study shows that even if we optimised every inch of our current power system, it would still not be able to cope with the large amount of renewables expected in the future. We need more infrastructure to support this energy transition and meet EU environmental targets. Failing to invest will be costly for Europe. Based on projections of Europe's future electricity needs for 2040, we found that without this investment, the overall European electricity bill will increase by an extra 9 billion euros per year, affecting the bills of EU citizens. And in reality, if the grid can't handle these new renewables, no one will invest in them, let alone build them, leaving us with no decarbonisation at all. Either way, a lack of investment could lead to system instability and even blackouts across Europe. So, our study shows that we need to invest in the grid. But how do we know where to focus and how far to go? Using all the data that we gathered, we ran over 100,000 simulations to find the most efficient plan for grid configuration and investment. According to our projections for 2040, making 6 billion euros of investment each year would enhance our grid and ensure it has enough capacity to handle the energy transition. In fact, this investment would prevent the 9 billion euros of wasted spending we mentioned before, bringing savings of 3 billion euros to the European energy bill year on year, securing progress towards carbon zero and bringing stability and security of supplies. This efficient electric system will be made up of new projects, such as innovative storage systems, transmission lines and offshore hybrid infrastructures. However, these are only potential directions, models rendered by a supercomputer. Now we want to collaborate with you to figure out a real plan for the future together. There is enormous scope for new European opportunities. There is a considerable difference between the number of projects needed by 2040 and those actually under preparation. And let's not forget, upgrading our system will also require each country to invest in reinforcing its own internal grids. It's now the role of the market to find the most efficient solutions using European ingenuity. Currently, complex permitting processes result in project delays and cancellations holding back the necessary investment and change. It is possible to make these processes much simpler without sacrificing an inch of environmental or social ambition. Such change will be absolutely key to delivering this new system. Now, we're looking to policymakers, project promoters and all European actors to help turn this vision of the future into a reality and create the world we want to live in tomorrow. A future where electrification, Europeans and the planet can thrive and prosper together, reaching our target of zero carbon by 2050. The development plan lays out our perspective, but now we want to hear from you. Head to tyndp.ensoe.eu for more information or contact us at tyndp at ensoe.eu.